All right, welcome, welcome, welcome to this course. Yeah, this is Ezekiel Akingbala speaking. Um, and welcome to this course. Thank you for purchasing this course. And it's going to watch your time. The first module here, I'm going to be teaching you how to run your Facebook ad, but this has to be broken into different uh, steps. So the first step I will teach you is how to um, create your Facebook page. So without a Facebook page, you won't be able to run an ad on the Facebook Ads Manager. You understand? You won't be able to run an ad on the Facebook Ads Manager. So the first thing we're going to be doing right now is to create a Facebook page. So all you need to do is log into your Facebook account. You can do whatever I'm doing here on your phone as well. Do you understand? All you need to do is to, to navigate where these things I'm going to be telling you about where they are. So the first thing we're going to be doing is I'll be coming to this list of options and you're clicking on pages click on pages i come here to click on create new pages create new pages so if you have a list of pages it should be showing around here do you understand that so if you don't have any page before now so you can come here and create new page is that taken so when you create, click on create new page you're going to bring it here so what's the name of your page you type it the name in so the name of my own page is 360 second media okay so the category you select a particular category that your business belongs to so my business belongs to let's say um social media agency okay that's well that better explain my business so then what is the description so i have a description here an advertising agency and a digital marketing company okay if that's what you do type in something related to that is that taken so before you can fill in these other details you can, you can add your cover page you can add your profile picture here and some other adjustments you have to first click on create your page so this particular page has already been created already page name required so this particular page has been created that's why it's bringing this error it looks like you already created yes i actually already created a page when i was when i started this video but the page was not didn't create effectively or the, the page got created but when i was recording my audio got disconnected so i had to start again i believe you got my point so once you click on create page it's going to bring you to the next page i'm going to be showing you right now so it's going to bring you to this page so after filling up the details so you have to create um click on the the image option to put in most times we advise you to put in either your picture or your business logo depending on the kind of page you are creating so for me i love to put my business logo there okay then for the cover page uh, let's go to canva i was trying to design something on canva the other time let's see if i'm being recorded okay i'm being recorded okay so the uh, i was trying to design something like this on canva so if you need a training on how to design your product or design a page or design anything on canva kindly reach out to me and i'll show you as well so let's say this is what i want i don't want it to be too complex or complicated let's just um, save it up like this and then let me download this particular document download it and let me save it up i think it's downloaded it's glitter birthday so come to face to the uh, page and then let's pick it up i think download glitter okay this is it so that's my cover page do you see that so it look my page is coming up really nice right now so all i need to do is click on save click on save and then my work is saved so the page is ready so you know i'm putting two on this because i already have a page i was working on so it was not allowing me to create and i want to show you these things each step at a time i want to get you to understand everything you have to do about this particular page we're creating so now this is my page and it's all ready to go so there are many other things you have to do on your page and it is very important that you're able to do these things correctly so let me select the real page this particular one is the one i want to work on so i've already added a button let me refresh this you can add a button to your page so there are so many things you can do on your uh facebook page that would make it look exceptional It'd make it look exceptional so include so let me add this particular profile um the this the cover page here as well let me first add the profile picture. Let me 
you upload the profile picture um, I think that should be on desktop okay that's the profile picture oh it does not oh, oh okay it's too large okay okay it's too large that's why it's not accepting it but let me just put in the um let me put in the uh let me upload the uh, one we just downloaded now uh, where is it um, it's on downloads uh, glitter okay there we go so this is a very simple to do so i can save those that changes when i make the change so i'll look for a time to upload this but that's not a point of concern right now so next thing you should do is to add a button make sure you add a button to your page because it makes it easier for anyone who is coming to your page to really connect with you so the first thing you can do is to add a follow button so they can either follow you you can put a button that they should follow you follow the page or you can put a button that they should learn more you can see different button view gift card start order so which button best suits your brand you understand which button best suits your brand so most times i will always advise you uh, connect it to a whatsapp to your whatsapp do you understand you should connect your business to whatsapp so when you do that you see that it will bring up a whatsapp button so you can see that so on the view or the preview that someone who is an external uh, outsider will see is different from what I'm seeing here. Do you understand? Because you will see WhatsApp, connect to WhatsApp. Do you get that? So, the next thing you want to do, you can create a post. Uh, you can promote the, this particular page and allow people to follow. But don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. Please, don't connect. Don't promote this page yet. Because there are so many things we need to do. There. So you can establish your birthday identity, fill in your uh, birthday, fill in the. Um, these are the things you have done. Add your profile and many other informations that I need to add that you can be add. You can add your website. So let me add my website. Learn with learn with Ezekiel Akinola. Let's come. Let me just put my website URL instead. Let me put the main URL. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I need to update this SSL as soon as possible. So let's just go with that. Learn with my page that doesn't have a website. Okay, this actually does have a website. HTTP column slash slash. Okay. So. Let me put it again. HTTP slash slash. Okay. Slash slash. Learn with Ezekiel at Ezekiel Akimbola. Let's come. Okay. So that's all. And it's saving the changes already. So I close this now. So uh, there are many other things. Just go through and update the different options you are seeing. Here. So you can link, I've linked my website, add an action button, I've done that. Uh, the uh, working hours, okay, before we do that, let me do the uh, provide info and preference. So let's add location. So my business located at number shop two. Shop two. Uh, Gregorian. Gregorian Street. So I put you put your address properly. So you can put how do you get your zip code? So you can okay. Let me leave this. So how do you get your zip code? Let me show you how to get it. Just, just come on your uh, browser, Garaka Niger State zip code, and bam, you get your zip code. You can see it's equal 910. I need to just copy and come here and paste your zip code here. So there's a comma there, and I'm also supposed to have a comma there. Okay. Let me see now, just it. Okay, it's not accepting that. 
Okay. Okay. So it has allowed me to pick that. Okay. So once you're done with that, it's already saving up. Once you you can click out or you click on save. Then um, provide info and preference. So working as um, I'm always open actually. You can reach me at any time in the midnight. I'm available for you. <laughs> All right. So I've added the phone number, but let me just do that again. Zero eight one six nine three two three three two five. Thank you. Reach out to me. My pay doesn't. My dog. Mine does. Okay. So I've completed virtually everything. So you can send out requests to different people, but I'm not ready to do that now. You can send out requests to different people. Um, to reach out to you on your page do you get that so that this is going to be the first uh segment or the first part of this video so in the second module i'll be taking you this training is uh, a, a bit further and i'll be showing you some other major things that you must uh take note of uh, as you uh, prepare yourself to run your hours thank you very much